Hey YouTubers, Chris Willett with Notes from a Vagabond. Today I'm making a video about this Shark One Vac, how to wall mount it. Uh, I like it a lot. I, I got it for my trailer um, <clears throat> and I want to be able to wall mount it. The way it came, it came assembled with the tool tray and to wall mount it, you got to get rid of the tool tray. Um, so this is a pretty easy project. Uh, so to first you got to disconnect the tool tray. So to do that, uh, you know, remove the vacuum um, on the back side here, unravel the cord, come in with the tool like like a putty knife. Well, first thing you have to pop out this um, this tool tray here, like so, pops right out. Uh, so pop, that's very important to get that popped out of there. Then flip it over. Then come in with like a putty knife and unclick the two sides. That side there, come in over here, unclick that side. And then you want to make sure these wings are on the outside of the tool tray. And then it just slides apart. Just like so. So now it's in two pieces. Now I can go ahead and wall mount it. So to wall mount it, uh, what I did is I attached a Velcro strap to it because if you wall mount this without the strap, if the strap wasn't there like that, and you wall mount it, it's going to pull away from the contacts so it won't probably get charged. So I put on this Velcro strap uh, that's adjustable. So when I slide it in, it'll keep it close to the contacts and if it's not tight enough I can just tighten it up some so uh, I went with the idea of, of a velcro strap you know most of my videos are just to give you ideas of how to do something you might have a better way but I went ahead with a velcro strap I got one of those and I just kind of duct tape it back here so it doesn't slide around it'll stay there um, so after that I took my handy little drill and I drilled the hole right there. And then, then on the back side, I kind of made a slot, um, you know, like two holes and then clip through it or, you know, there's different ways to make that, but you gotta be real careful when you do these holes here because there is the wire up in there. So you wanna make sure you don't hit that wire. So drill these holes real slow. I put them off to the side a little bit, but that's fine. Um, then I countersink this hole a little bit. And then, okay, so then I went, and this is where I'm gonna mount it. And I just put a, a screw with a big head screw uh, into the cabinet. And then I can take and I can slide this on there, and then I'll put the top screw in and it'll be secure. So there's the charging station mounted to the wall. You can see the one screw up there. The other one's behind it uh, where I slid it in. That goes in real nice. Stays against those uh, charging uh, contacts. Uh, okay, so that's how I wall mount it. Um, like so many of my videos, these are, this isn't the only way. You probably have a better way um, leave a comment about a better way to improve this or make a video and share it with people. Uh, but it, I like this vac a real lot. It has a lot of power for such a little vac. I just want to do a quick clean here and there and when we spill our cereal or whatever, quickly vacuum it up. And that's what it's great for. Um, so anyway, if you, this movie, this I say movie, video was helpful or you liked it, you know, give it a thumbs up share it with other people subscribe to my channel leave comments down below it's all good really appreciate you watching um have fun traveling bye